Hello everyone, this is Scorpion from How To Do, and today you guys will be learning how to make this kind of a game, an AR game in Unity using Playmaker. So this is the video which I made. Uh, I know it's getting stuck uh, because the app which I used is of bad quality, you know, or the quality of the video I made was pretty high. I don't know, but it gets stuck. But you can see the concept right here. The tracking is pretty awesome. Uh, you can see alright and in your game it will not actually get stuck it will be really smooth uh, but you can see the tracking is really awesome and yeah you can see you can also zoom in and you can also grab the card and do stuff like that and yeah so how to make this let's get started so first thing first what you need to do is you need to have unity so if you don't have it uh, then you should download it if you have unity but if your uh, unity version is lower than 2018 uh, then you should actually update it because I recommend you should update it because uh, you know the modern or the latest version it is the better it is so how to do that you have to go to uh, your web browser you have to say unity and not unity lower unity and you have to go to your unity official site uh, this one and then you will find this get unity unity over here you have to say get unity uh, there we go and there are three options personal plus and pro uh, of course you won't need to do that you just need to download free try personal you have to do that and click this one download installer for windows there we go and it will actually download the unity installer so if you have unity or if you don't have unity the bo in the both cases you have to download this one because it is necessary so it will automatically download the latest version in my case it is 2018.2 alright I'm gonna say yes okay and there we go we can say next it's gonna connect and I can say an accept because I have already read this or you don't have to read this so if you have unity 2018 or 2018 above you should uncheck that but if you have unity below the 2018 version you should click that so it will uh, update the unity for you and then of course if you are making an AR game you will need an Android build support so just make sure you click that one too and if you're making for iOS then you should also click this one but I'm not making it for iOS so I'm not gonna click that and the main and basic thing also if you want to make a Mac one so you can also click this one so and but the main and basic thing you want to do is you have to click this one so it says Wolforia Argumented Reality Support alright you have to click that if you even if you have unity or if you have Android build you have to just click that and you have to just go ahead and say next and it will start uh, downloading and doing all that stuff but I have already these things so I'm not gonna do this and I'm gonna go back to unity so once you have downloaded unity and all the Wolfuria thing and Android build support you are good to go now if you go to your uh, game object there you will find this Wolforia if you imported Wolforia you don't have to do anything you have to just click that over there which I just show you in a second before and in, in Wolforia you, you can see this AR camera now if you click that it shows you Wolforia requires some assets to import uh, would you like to do that now yes we have to do that otherwise we will not be able to make an AR game and it will start to import it and it will of course take some time but but meanwhile what we have to do is we have to go ahead and go to the web browser and we have to go ahead and say Wolforia I don't know if it's called that Wolforia I guess so Wolforia I guess so and there we go our Wolforia assets have been imported and there we go here we have the Wolforia uh, AR camera but we are just going to go to this one right here or or if we go ahead okay so uh, now what you need to do is you need to just remove one of the camera uh, the main camera because we don't need two cameras in our scene so we can delete the main camera and there we go now if you go to the AR camera there you will find this Wolforia behavior thingy but Wolforia is not enabled enable Wolforia in the player settings in order to modify this object now you have to go to edit 
product settings and player all right and in here what you have to do is you have to go to xr settings and you have to enable virtual uh, virtual uh, reality support and also this will for your augmented reality support click that and there we go now if we go to ar camera you can find uh, you can see that it, there is no error in here and you can click this open for your configuration and here you can see app license key and it is empty right now so we have to fill this one in order to make the game now if i come back in here and it's still not loaded so if i come back and go to log in or sdk one someone should start this sdk is working i guess i don't know if their site is pretty busy or not but it does not opens up with this one augmented reality one so there we have it we can come to home and this is the Wolforia site now you have to go ahead and make sure you register in it or if you have registered uh, this is pretty small uh, process you just have to uh, let me just quickly show you guys what you have to, I have already registered myself in this guy but it's getting stuck I'm gonna come back because I don't want to get stuck in there uh, but it's pretty simple thing you can just uh, make an account in Wolforia and you will be good to go and I don't know it is getting stuck so I am going to go ahead and open it up again there we go and now you have to come to uh, develop in here and here you can see license manager and uh, under license manager and there we get create a license key for your application now in order to do that I have to log in and to do that I am going to log in and I'm gonna go to new scene screen over here so that something personal <laughs> and there we go we have logged in and i have already made one of the license key uh, a card ar you can say get development key click this one to make a development key uh, app name can be anything like ar tutorial uh, sorry tutorial and you have to just click this one confirm this name can be anything all right it does not matter and there we go we have generated this one we can click this guy and this is our copy the license key this is the license key all right so you have to copy this one uh, from here to here copy this guy go back to unity and paste it in here add license key and uh, okay there we go the license key has been added all right great now uh, with that done what we have to do is in the in the video you saw before there was a card all right there was a card in which on which the the uh, the 3d models were being being uh, you know spawned now that card was actually a image target all right so if you right click here and if you say Wolforia, they will say image all right you have to make that image and by default if i press f by default this is the kind of the card you get so this is the kind of the card you get by Wolforia. sorry okay but uh, the, uh, as i don't have this card with me right now so what how can i use this one to uh, convert it into my own card so it's pretty simple uh, if i just delete that if i come back to euphoria uh, i guess here all right so you can see target manager in here under development you can see target manager so if i click that it will open up target manager and there we go we have this ace uh, I, I only I have this because I used it and this was the one which I used let me just quickly show you guys if I can uh, click this one uh, if I can open it this 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 is the one which I used all right so this is pretty basic simple image of this card all right and it looks something like this come on open up open up all right it will take some time i hate this i really hate this come on oh come on this this one all right so this is the pretty simple pretty basic uh, image of a card you can use any card i used this one 
uh, you can use any one all right um, but make sure there is something written on it something made on it and something unique all right and yeah so that the tracking becomes really simple otherwise if you use something else like a white sheet that won't be good at all and you have this rating over here so this rating means how good the uh, the tracking will be so I have full stars which mean the I will I will uh, experience the best tracking the Wolforia uh, can provide and I really have to say that the tracking is pretty pretty awesome so how to add this you have to say art add target and you can see these these uh, types so I used simple image single image you can also use QI you can use cylinders or you can use 3d objects but that is pretty complicated so I'm gonna use single image because that is the simplest and the best way so I can browse for my image and there we go I have this ace open it up and there we go GP, JPG or PNG max by uh, max size is 2 MB okay and set the width to 1 and you can uh, name it anything you want I am going to name it uh, ace tutorial and I'm gonna say add and it it's gonna upload the the image and now we have this ace tutorial right here now uh, what you have to do is we have to select this one all right and we're gonna say download database and make sure you select unity editor so we don't want Android studio or Xcode or visual studio we want uh, unity editor because we are making the game on unity editor and we're gonna say download and it's gonna compile the database and and there we go our ace is being downloaded it's a unity package okay and there we go it's downloaded if I click this gun and there we go we have this guy if I say import and it will automatically import it in here now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and say right click uh, well for you and image and now immediately you will see this card will pop out and there we go awesome all right pretty pretty awesome okay now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and rename it to something like ace all right so that we can know what it is and we can go ahead and add 3d object and a cube inside over here now this cube we can set the scale like this and this cube is gonna be on top of this guy now wherever you position this cube it will be right here in the real game in the real world you will see through your your uh, camera of your mobile phone you will see this cube right over here not here not here but right over here all right so and it will do the best tracking ever so you can just rotate the card and do all of that stuff so uh, make sure the 3d object is right under this ace all right this image and yeah that is that that is it and there we go this is our AR game now you can just go ahead and say uh, build build settings and you can say add open scene and it will do that you can select Android and say build and run if you don't know how to build or if you are getting some errors like SDK error in in compiling or making this game you can check that uh, check how to how to uh, build a game on Android and how to all solve all the errors regarding the the uh, SDK and all that stuff or package bundle or something like that you can you can just click the link in the description box below and see how to do that uh, and and you will be able to make this Android game like that and if you just if you just uh, install this app in your mobile phone and open up that app and it will do the best tracking ever and your AR game is pretty much ready yep that's that guys hope you guys enjoyed and and yeah that's that hope you guys enjoyed if you liked my video you can go ahead and donate me some money through paypal the link to that is in the description box below and if you want uh, you can subscribe to my channel uh, if you want some more tutorials like that and if you have any questions go ahead and leave some comments below i will try to answer to them and yeah that's that hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video till then be cool